Toyota's recent efforts to dominate the auto industry have been quite successful for the business. They have already launched a whole industry branch with their hydrogen cell-powered cars, which are growing in popularity by the day. However, Toyota has also started developing a new way of using hydrogen in vehicles, and that is by creating an internal combustion engine that uses hydrogen as fuel. How does this engine operate? And why did Toyota decide to create it in the first place? Because it will outperform what Tesla currently has. Join us as we take a look at Toyota's revolutionary hydrogen engine, which stunned the entire automotive industry. But before that, please like, subscribe, and click the bell button for the latest Elon Musk news. Now let's get started. The Toyota Prius is the best-selling hybrid of all time and was the vehicle that actually started the electrified vehicle craze, which in turn sped up development and increased consumer interest in fully electric vehicles. Toyota has played a significant role in electrifying vehicles and has been the industry leader when it comes to innovation throughout the entire auto industry. Toyota, however, had previously made the decision to continue producing hybrid and conventional vehicles for as long as they can. The CEO of Toyota, Akio Toyota, even stated that he doesn't firmly believe that the EV segment will overtake hybrids and conventional internal combustion engines anytime soon. In fact, Toyota had only recently entered the EV segment with the Toyota BZ4X. Now anyhow Toyota has been working on developing its own fuel cell electric vehicles, or hydrogen cell-powered cars as they are more commonly known as an alternative to EVs. The fact that FCEVs will use the element that is most abundant in the universe is their main advantage. Because the batteries used in hydrogen-powered cars are much weaker and require less lithium than typical EVs, fuel cell electric vehicles, which also run on hydrogen, don't pollute as much during the manufacturing process as EVs. However, because they are essentially electric vehicles, they do not produce pollution when in use like IC engines do. The first-generation Toyota Mirai, which was released in 2014 and was hailed as a technological marvel, was so well-received in California that Toyota decided to launch a second generation in 2020 even though it wasn't intended to be mass-produced since it was intended solely for the Japanese market. That was also made available throughout the world. In fact, James, the host of X-Top Gear, might own one in addition to the Toyota. The Honda Clarity and Hyundai Nixo are two examples of the many other companies that have begun producing FCEVs. Additionally, a number of other automotive behemoths, including Volkswagen, BMW, and Mercedes-Benz, announced that they too would be building their own hydrogen-powered vehicles. Toyota, on the other hand, had just begun to work on a technology that could use hydrogen more effectively. Toyota has recently switched their beloved 1.6 turbocharged three-cylinder engine, which can be found in the Toyota Corolla GR and the Toyota Yaris GR, to using hydrogen instead of conventional fossil fuels, as a result of recent ventures into converting internal combustion engines to use hydrogen as their propellant. These efforts have proven quite successful for the company. Not only that, but they've also begun a joint venture with Yamaha to create a 5.0-liter V8 powered by hydrogen. But how does a hydrogen-powered internal combustion engine work? You might be surprised to learn that it works rather conventionally, in fact, it's quite similar to cars that run on compressed natural gas rather than gasoline. A sizable tank that is significantly thicker than your typical fuel tank holds the hydrogen in place. Since hydrogen is a very flammable gas, a de facto armored tank is unquestionably required. Additionally, the engine needs fuel injections, stronger connecting rods, and hardened valves and valve seats to prevent hydrogen from escaping that are made to be designed for a gas rather than a liquid, as well as numerous other enhancements and general strengthening of the engine's parts so that it can withstand a higher overall pressure in the cylinder. Although the overall use of hydrogen is almost identical to that of conventional fossil fuels, there are no CO2 emissions when compared to those fuels. The horsepower output of hydrogen engines is comparable to that of their more conventional counterparts, which is another advantage. Additionally, the new Yaris GHR2 can be fully refueled in just 1.5 minutes, which is incredibly fast when compared to EVs. So overall, these vehicles could actually be the way of the future. But how would these cars make EVs and FCEVs extinct? Well, to start with, these vehicles are much more practical than EVs and FCEVs because they have a longer range and refuel much more quickly. The fact that they are entirely mechanical is another advantage. Since these vehicles, unlike fossil fuel vehicles, don't require non-renewable resources to operate or to be manufactured, their production and use are much more environmentally friendly and fully sustainable. This means that they could be repaired rather than just thrown away. Additionally, let's not overlook the possibility that, once Hoyta masters the technology of processing hydrogen, refueling these vehicles could become very affordable. And let's not forget how much fun these cars are to drive. The driving experience is almost exactly the same as that of a conventional car, and that includes one of the main features that petrol heads adore about IC engines. They make noise. 
Have you ever heard of the 1.63 cylinder engine? It sounds like a lovely little symphony. And its hydrogen-powered cousin produces a sound that is equally as good and, in our opinion, even better than the gasoline-powered version. According to the history of their current collaboration, it will be a true symphony. Additionally, it will function superbly as an engine in general. Given that both the storied 2JZ and the magnificent V10 found in the Lexus LFA were jointly developed by Yamaha, it would seem that the hydrogen-powered internal combustion engine might be the solution to all of our problems. There are a few things that need to be taken into consideration, as well as a few issues with using hydrogen as a propellant, before we go ahead and write off EVs and conventional vehicles completely. First of all, Toyota isn't the first automobile to use a hydrogen-powered internal combustion engine. In fact, these cars have been produced in the past. The most popular model before Toyota was the BMW 750HL, which debuted in 2002. Later, in 2005, the company unveiled the Hydrogen 7. Both of these vehicles had a host of issues that are still present in internal combustion engines powered by hydrogen. First of all, hydrogen is extremely flammable and, in some cases, explosive, which makes it a huge safety hazard. It is very difficult to process and even more difficult to store, and even though there are no CO2 emissions, the high combustion temperatures emit enormous amounts of nitrous oxide, another pollutant. This can be reduced by doubling the amount of air required for complete combustion but this renders the vehicle much weaker than its gasoline-powered counterpart. Because of the highly complex method of processing and storing hydrogen, it is currently more expensive than gasoline and diesel. The current technology makes these cars significantly less efficient. Finally, the manufacturing process is at least 1.5 times more expensive than producing a conventional internal combustion engine because of the hydrogen. Even though we'd like to see vehicles like the Toyota Yaris GR2 flood the market as soon as possible, it's not likely to happen anytime soon due to technological limitations. However, we do believe that the further development of this idea could eventually lead to the production of hydrogen-powered internal combustion engines that are significantly more efficient and emit significantly less nitrous oxide. So, what's your takeaway from this video? Let us know in the comment section below. If you found this video informative, make sure to hit the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update from us. Thank you for watching. We'll see you at the next one. Until then, peace.